Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. This time I'm just doing a quick little dragonfly. This is not an idea of mine but I had a tutorial from Lizzie in the mail and yeah I was bored, I was frustrated and when that happens I dig out my watercolors. <laughs> so what I'm doing here with the wings is I first wet the area that it is to be colored and then I go in with two colors and apply a wash of them and then with the color still on the paintbrush I dab it off on a tissue and go back and forth to blend them wash out my paintbrush dab it off and repeat the process and I chose those two colors because I knew from the acrylics that they mix very well and they make a beautiful blue and yeah and the materials I've used as well as the paper and stuff I've all listed for you in the description box if you want to paint along so these are not the original colors from the tutorial this is completely born from my own mind And as I go, I slowly figure out how to do this technique. It has a name, but I have forgotten it. <laughs> so, coloring in the body of the dragonfly. I, I always want to say firefly to these days. <laughs> that is not true. I went in with some black and brown and... Yeah, watercolors and me, they're difficult to handle still. <laughs> Coloring the rest of the body, I think it was some grey mixture of grey and brown, something like that. But yeah, you'll find the colors in the description. <laughs> And I also didn't want to go in with pure black because, yeah, I thought it would look, it wouldn't look good. So I just went in with grey. So here I went over it with a brown now because, yeah, the, the mixture I had before seemed a little bit too dark for me. And in the middle of, of the pieces I lifted out a little bit of color by wetting it with a wet paintbrush and dabbing off, dabbing it off with my tissue. Yeah, adding some white highlights. Wasn't very happy with these, <laughs> but yeah. Now I'm going in with some Coleros because yeah, dragonflies always are these shiny shimmery things for me and just the flat watercolor wash really, I don't know, I didn't like it. <laughs> I'm a kind of sparkle person, yeah, you know me. <laughs> And that look much better. So going in with the lazy glitter now. And yeah, I took my time to figure out which colors of her I'm gonna use. Sorry about my head in the camera, by the way. It was kind of difficult because I needed to pay attention that I don't paint out of the lines and yeah, that's what happened. And what I do to blend these here, I first apply the two colors and then I wash out the paintbrush, I dab it off and then I stipple between them to mix them. And I found that to work quite well. A little bit of lines around. Mm -hmm. 
And if you want to do this, you, you better get yourself a zero paintbrush. I only had a number one here and the lines turned out to be quite chunky. And yeah, I've learned my lesson here. <laughs> Adding the lines on the wings. Here you can see that the size one is, is simply too big. For these lines. You really need a zero. And with these lines on the wings it's it, it really comes together. It's not my best work ever, but yeah, <laughs> it was just something for fun in between. I don't know what that is, always when I get frustrated and need some relax, I, I do watercolors. <laughs> Signing the thing, just a few little corrections because, yeah, and lines. Yeah, and this is the finished dragonfly. <laughs> dragonfly, not a firefly. <laughs> yeah, all shiny, all shimmery, glittery, and yeah. Yeah, I hope you like it. And if you want to see more watercolor videos, then check the upper right corner. I've put the playlist for you there. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.